coming up, make a freaky horror movie with your own fake blood. How to pass a football through a postcard. Discover the secret to growing your own coral. And solving the mystery of bizarre bouncing sound waves. Hey, Taryn, what are you doing? I'm trying to bounce like a sound wave. <laughs> well, I love your technique, but are you sure sound waves bounce like that? Hmm? <laughs> I think it's time to do a sound check with our backyard sound engineers. I've nearly finished another masterpiece. Hey, what's that noise? It sounded like Tammy bouncing a ball right behind me. There it is again. Tammy is bouncing a ball over there. But the sound is coming from this wall. He's over there. The sound is over here. That's really weird. I'm going to figure out why it's happening. Here's the source of the noise. Hey, Tammy! Do you know why I can hear the sound of your ball coming from the wall on the other side of the pool? It sounded like this ball was bouncing off the other wall. Maybe the ball isn't the only thing bouncing around here. Come on, Tammy. Let's see if we can bounce around some sound. Jordan and I are making our own horror movie. It's going to be totally terrifying. I'm Creepy Kimberly the Zombie. Arrgh! Oh, my hand fell off. Looks like the director's not happy. I can see he thinks there's something else we need. He's right. There's one thing this gore fest is lacking. Blood. Yeah, that's it. OK, Mr Director, you're about to have more blood than you know what to do with. Watch out for the vampire! <laughs> Vampires? Now that's something I'd like to sink my teeth into. Oh, I don't like the sound of that very much, Dana. And speaking of sound, I wonder how our resident engineers are going to solve that sound-bouncing mystery. I figured out that the sound of Tammy's ball can travel across the backyard and bounce back at me from another wall. So we've decided to try bouncing some sound around. We're making a megaphone to concentrate the sound of our voices. Just roll up some card into a cone shape and tape it in place. Now I'll cut off this pointy bit at the end just to make it look neat. Even science experiments have to look cool. Hello, Tammy. Yep, that works. You can have that one. I'll make another one for me. There. Yuck! Tammy, that's gross. You've given me an idea, though. Holding a megaphone up to my ear might give me super hearing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yep, that is louder. Come on, let's give them a go. <laughs> OK, Marcus, if I make this penalty kick, you owe me a million dollars. Here goes. Rats! He stopped it. This time, if I score, you had to give your school teacher a kiss. And... Oh! OK, half time. Well, I couldn't beat Marcus in a penalty shootout, but maybe I could find another way to show him how super skillful I am. That postcard has given me a clever idea. I bet you I can get the football to pass right through this postcard. Don't believe me? Well then, if I can do it, you have to wear my pretty fairy wings for the rest of the day. You make a gorgeous fairy. Now, wait here. I just need to make a few adjustments to my postcard using this ruler, pencil and scissors. First, I'm going to rule about 20 lines, evenly spaced across the back of the card. <laughs> now I'll carefully cut along every second line from one direction. 
I stop each cut about a finger's width before I reach the other side. Now I do the lines between these cuts from the other direction, remembering to stop before I get to the edge. Ta-da! Getting worried, Marcus? Come with me. Better bring the wings. The surface area of the postcard hasn't changed, but by altering its shape, Ashley has given it a much longer perimeter. So the soccer ball goes through easily. Clever thinking, Ashley. <laughs> Come on, Tinkerbell. It's time to get back to the big game. <laughs> Tinkerbell, eh? I think Marcus looks so cute in those fairy wings, he could almost be in the movies. Although not, I hasten to add, the sort of movie Kimberly and Jordan are making. Our totally scary horror movie is lacking one thing. Blood. Fake blood, that is. And I'm going to make some. I've got some red and blue food colouring, a box of cocoa powder, some corn syrup, water, corn flour in a measuring jug and bowl. Now this could get messy. Better change out of my clothes. Or Mum might turn into a monster. OK, let's start with a quarter of a cup of corn syrup. I put that into the mixing bowl, then add two tablespoons of water and give it a good stir. Time for some rich red blood colouring. About ten drops. Now to thicken up the blood. A tablespoon of cocoa and about two tablespoons of corn flour. This will make it nice and sticky. It needs lots of stirring to mix in the lumps. But I don't think it's as dark as real blood. Time to add one drop of blue colouring. Stir that in. That's more like it. Yuck! Time to get back to the film set. But first, a blood bath. A big wound there. And more on this arm. Plenty on the face. Mmm, how disgusting. Be afraid, Jordan, be very afraid. Blood is red because it contains a type of red iron called haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is very important because it transports the oxygen you breathe in all over your body. OK, all ready on set? <laughs> My bogus blood even freaked out the director. Snorkeling is the coolest fun. Ocean reefs are filled with fabulous fish. But our favourite is the coral. Look at that bright yellow coral. And that one looks like a fern. My dive buddy Isa and I are crazy about corals. If only we could take some home to look at. But we can't. They're protected. But I've just had a really good idea. Let's grow our own coral. We've got everything we need. And believe it or not, this dirty black lump of charcoal is going to become our coral. I don't think Isa believes me. First up, in goes two tablespoons of water. Then sprinkle two tablespoons of salt and two tablespoons of vinegar. OK, Coral, get growing. We want to see you turn into something beautiful. OK, it's day two of our great coral-making experiment. Wow, do I see tiny crystals starting to appear? Good, we want more. So we'll add two more tablespoons of salt, more water, more vinegar. And to give our coral some colour, a few drops of food colouring. Green, red and blue. Can't wait to see our coral. Wow! It really does look like coral. The water, vinegar and dissolved salt have combined in a chemical reaction to form crystals. As the reaction continues, the crystals build on top of each other just as real coral builds up over years and years. 
But unlike Iman's crystal, coral is made up of millions of living animals called polyps that make hard structures around themselves by dissolving a chemical in the sea called calcium carbonate. It's not really a crystal, but a limestone skeleton that protects the polyp inside. I hope my coral is brilliant, but I still think I prefer the real thing. Let's go back and get our snorkels. After lunch, we can go diving again. Well done, girls. That coral really is clever stuff. And speaking of clever, Carrie Ann is just about to solve the mystery of the bouncing sound waves. I figured out that the sound of Tammy's ball game bounced along the garden wall. So we're going to try a little sound bouncing of our own. You stand there, Tammy. I'll listen from the other end of the garden. OK, hold up your megaphone and talk normally. Hello, hello. Carrie ann can you hear me? Hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Wow, I can hear you. It's as if you were standing right next to me. Sound travels through the air in waves. These waves bounce and change direction when they hit a hard surface. The sound waves from Tammy's voice are bouncing along the stone wall. So he sounds much closer than he really is. Tammy, it's so amazing. You try it. Hello, Hello Tammy. Tammy, how, how are, are you today? today? Can you hear, hear my, my voice, voice right in your ear? Whenever you listen to an echo, you're hearing sound waves bouncing back from a hard surface in the distance. Some animals, like bats and dolphins, use bouncing sound called sonar to help them sense where everything is. They make a high-pitched noise and their brains can tell where things are by listening to the sounds bouncing back. Wow! Now, now that, that is superior. superior. It's, it's like, like dolphins, dolphins can, can see with their ears. ears. Nice work, Carrie ann You wrapped up that little sound mystery very nicely indeed. Yep, and it's time for us to wrap things up too, because we've reached the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.